What is going on guys? Welcome back and today we are going to be going into a diorama lore build. It's sort of like a, I guess it's a new niche that I'm trying to get off the ground. <laughs> so we're going to be going into the death court of Krieg. We're also going to have a look at some of the grots that I've got down here as well in this diorama and it's just going to be a lot of fun. We're going to talk about the diorama build, we're going to talk about some lore, we're going to have a lot of fun. And if you enjoy this video, remember to do what this grot here is doing, like and subscribe. Now let's get on with the video and stop faffing about with all this intro stuff. So I started off this build with some A4 sheets of MDF. Um, I think in America, you know it as chipboard maybe? Um, chipboard's a totally different thing over here in the UK. So anyway, but it's a bit shiny on the side that I want to be gluing stuff onto. So I'm just roughing it up with a bit of sandpaper and I'm going to score it up as well just to help the glue attach itself to it when I add some Durafoam onto it, which is the brand that I bought for this. So bought in a everything in A4 sizes just to make life a bit simpler for myself. I don't have to go chopping and changing. Trying to get the perfect sizes later when I can let someone in the factory do that bit for me because I'm lazy. Once all the gluing's been done, I'm just going to add an extra bit of MDF onto the top for stability that's not going to be glued down and make a sort of MDF and foam ice cream sandwich, I, I suppose you could say. So while I use a selection of tools such as a Stanley knife, a hot wire cutter, and then go on to use some sculptor mold to form some terrain for this diorama base, let's get on and start talking a little bit about the lore on the death core of Krieg. The trench is my womb, a vessel in which a soldier of Krieg is birthed on towards its foe. I charge across the field of corpses, giving my very essence to the task at hand before I fall and my blood nourishes the corpse ground and my body grows it. The light of the emperor will see my short but devout life and embrace me while my brothers and sisters join me. This short statement should be all you really need to know about the mentality of the death core of Krieg. They are absolute fanatics when it comes to wars of attrition, siege warfare, trench warfare, anything of the type. They are the go-to regiment. They are the best toy in the Imperial toy box for these, for these kind of engagements. Now, this isn't just something that has happened. This comes from the history of the Death Core of Krieg and the planet of Krieg itself. Once upon a time, it was known as the Hive World of Krieg, located in the Segmentum Tempestus. There, there was a 500 year war, civil war, between the traitors and the loyalists. Now, when I say traitors, I don't mean they're all nurgled up and chaos -y or whatever. No, they just decided they no longer wanted to be a part of the Imperium and decided to remove themselves from that particular situation. Now, unfortunately for them, only weeks prior, they had allowed a certain Colonel Yurton of the 83rd Krieg Regiment to dock his ship and go down to the Hive City of Ferrograd. This would come to be the biggest mistake that the Autocratic Council of Krieg could ever have made, and the self-pronounced Chairman of Krieg would soon come to regret this decision to allow Yurton onto the planet. For the construction of my Soldiers of Krieg for this diorama, I've used some 3D printed STLs and you'll be able to find the links to those in the description below. Um, I've also used some of the original Forge World resin models and I've used some plastic kits and I've done a little bit of mixing of everything together just to sort of see whether you can really tell the difference once they're all painted up and in the mix together. So continuing on with our lore on Death Corps of Cree. Colonel Yurton is known as the great savior to the Death Corps of Cree. He is the man that committed great sin in order to bring the people of Krieg back to the light of the Emperor. In millennia 41, Krieg is a death world. It is mostly barren with its hive cities that once stood tall and proud now reduced to rubble and ash. The sin that Colonel Yurton had committed was to launch 
weapons from the dark age of technology and these were nuclear powered weapons he knew that he couldn't fire them directly to the other hive cities they would just be shot out of the air and they would then weather the storm to follow what colonel yurton did was use these weapons to destroy the atmosphere he launched them high into the air and detonated them in the atmosphere causing a radiation to flow like a tidal wave or tsunami over the planet of Kree. This would then get in to the air vents of the surrounding Hive cities that were filled with the traitors. Obviously, Hive City Farograd had already closed its vents off and prepared its troops with the iconic respirators and heavy trench coats that we know today. After the traitors had been defeated and the loyalists once again had reclaimed the planet of Krieg. There was suddenly a new issue that arose with the Imperium. The planet of Krieg was no longer wanted by the Imperium. They, they had destroyed their means to pay tithes. They couldn't supply food, they couldn't supply water. They had made their planet into a death world, barren of any resource and any need or want from the Imperium. Their forges were not operating at max capacity how could they supply the rest of the imperium well with that there was an answer but was it the answer the imperium was looking for the supply of troops that now comes from krieg is the death corps they are the only product that krieg has to offer and the amount of soldiers that it puts forth has raised a few eyebrows but their efficiency in what they do is so great that no one would really question the means and how the Death Corps of Krieg are produced. So currently, one of the main engagements that the Death Corps of Krieg are currently engaged in is in the Octarius sector, where Inquisitor Crippman has lured the Tyranids into an area that the orcs are conducting a massive war. Now, orcs are just doing what they do best and having a right old good time. <laughs> because they all they want to do is fight. And if they ain't fighting, they ain't happy. So to contain these two forces, which are just getting more and more powerful, and eventually there will be a problem, when one of them becomes victorious. Either the Tyranids would have gained enough biomass to have an almost unstoppable force, or there'd be so many orcs so pumped up from the Warg that they would also almost be pretty unstoppable. So the Imperium has surrounded the area of Octarius in an iron ring of sorts with bastion worlds and fortified positions and the death corps of krieg are being sent in along with other imperial regiments to batter down and retake sectors to slowly close the circle around the area so i thought a great idea for this diorama would be to have a bunch of grots just having a good old time so uh, i've replaced most of their uh, most of their guns with um well they're having a few beers they're having a bit of a party they're having a great time because I just love the orcs in the sense that they are the comedic relief in the dark comedy that is Warhammer 40k. For this build that I'm doing, I really wanted to get sort of like a schmooly or a flare fired off into the sky to sort of have an illuminating factor to this trench build. So I've just drilled a little hole at the side and put a little rubber sheath in just to make it easier for me to get my wires through later. Once I had that all in and secured i just sort of attached the battery pack to the side and hoped that my wiring prowess which we've all seen before and if you haven't go back and have a look at some of my other videos um i'll put a little link up in the top you know just it's mostly it's to hide my horrible soldering and wiring jobs but hey they seem to work and if it ain't broke don't fix so for mudding up and making this look like a proper trench scene i've used multiple types of browns uh, starting with a base of burnt umber and then also using a gloss brown to sort of give a wet mud effect 
because in a trench scene it's going to be digging up layers of trench and layers of the mud basically below so you don't know really know, you know what is the actual color and there's always different variants in different layers you might have hit a clay level I mean, who knows it could be all sorts um so yeah so another part that i'm using is vallejo's thick mud and the color that i've gone for but that is european mud because the one that i bought when i first bought this stuff and i really like the texture and the color that i get from it so just adding lots of different mud variants to give it a nice sort of realistic look with all these different variants i'm also going to be chucking on to the orc side their little tables and their beer kegs and chucking some beer tankards around to you know they're not the cleanest of bunch there so they're just sort of chucking stuff around because they're having a jolly good time now while i get our grots all painted up let's focus back in on the death core of kree and try to understand what i meant when i said that they're producing troops in a questionable way on krieg's return to the imperium they weren't met with welcome arms or celebration no they were met with the fact that they were now 500 years late on their tithes so knowing this the commanders now in charge of krieg decided to immediately offer 20 regiments of Kree. And they asked that these 20 regiments be sent to the most hardened of battlefields where sieges needed to be broken, trenches need to be dug, battles needed to be won. On their arrival to these imperial battlefields, imperial commissars and commanders alike remarked on how outstanding the death corps of Krieg were performing that they had been awaiting assistance from astartes they no longer needed this assistance as a death corps krieg would get on with the job and break the enemy lines at any cost knowing their weakness i sent wave after wave of my own men at them after this the minotaurum got back to the commanders of krieg and informed them that on every tithe collection they were to have another 20 regiments ready to go they had just been imposed with the highest tithe collection for soldiers that the imperium would put on any planet arch magos grill had already put into place an ability to have the death corps of kree produce at high numbers he had once been colonel yurton's closest friend and ally they saw eye to eye on many many a factor apart from the fact that yurton wasn't too happy with Creel's removal of the flesh. But after Colonel Yurton's dying breath and his last remark to not use a device known as a Vitae wound, Creel turned to the new commanders upon Yurton's death and said that this was his dying wish, that the death corps of Krieg was to be built using the Vitae wounds. Now, not much is said in law for the Vitae wounds. Um, it's been quite difficult trying to find references and anything that's not quite Quite fa and mostly fan fiction that's out there so which is why this video is taking a bit longer than i had anticipated <laughs> actually researching stuff uh, takes a lot longer um than i thought it would and something i haven't really done for a long time but have recently been doing a lot more of but i think that's good for everyone involved here it means you're getting the proper and the correct information so vitae wombs doesn't really say exactly what they are um, they could be anything from a clone replicator to something that manipulates uh, em uh embryos that have been impregnated to potentially even female servitors that are just birthing away but that's very close to the tomunculabra um and we're not going down that road today um i think that it's probably a use of genetics and probably like some form of um organic genetic womb that is from the dark age of technology that we don't quite understand and we're not going to understand because the things that are not elaborated properly in law are probably the things that we should be the most terrified of but this is how krieg is able to manufacture soldiers in such large amounts and continue to bring new soldiers of krieg onto the battlefield the training ground which is 
the sur planet's surface of Krieg is immense, where they still use live fire uh, exercises for everything, anything down to artillery, to their LAS rifles, the razor wire that's still there, the craters that have been left after 500 years civil war. If you were to fall into them, you're not coming back out. <laughs> so we know we are only getting the best that Krieg has because the weakest have already died off. I suppose what I was saying with the ra raising the eyes that the Imperium doesn't look fondly upon cloning or doing too much to the human gene pool. Um, which is, this is why the Astartes, they're not, they're not um, an army of clones. Whereas the pretty strong chance that the Death Corps Krieg are very much so on the same genetic pool as Colonel Yurton, because Archmagos Grill decided that this man was the Death Corps of Krieg and who the Death Corps of Krieg needed to be. We may never truly know what is behind the respirator of the Krieg, but what we do know is that the first commander of the first Krieg regiment to introduce himself to the Imperials was asked to remove his mask and he greeted them by saying, my name is Colonel Yurton of the Death Corps of Krieg. So thank you guys for joining me on yet another hobby adventure and a look into the lore behind the diorama that we are building. Please remember to give me a like, a share, a subscribe. It really helps me within the YouTube algorithm if you do any of those things. But I just appreciate the fact that you were here and I really do hope to see you in the next one. Dream